Those of us who grew up in farming towns or are fans of local farmers markets, we've been into the farm to table thing for a while. But across the country, it's become a movement and not just for people. Dogs are also being treated to more wholesome ingredients. Top Chef Master Star, Chef Kerry Heffernan and his Labradoodle, who's in hiding right now, Benny, they join us this morning. <laughs> Chef, it's good to see you. Good morning, it's good to see you as well, Mary. So where is Benny? Uh, Benny's nearby, he's getting a little snack. You know, this food is just too good, he can't pass it up. That's funny. So, what, so a Labradoodle, what's your story and how long have the two of you been together? Uh, we've had Benny for four years and um, he's been a great friend of the family and a lover of all things uh, good food. Yeah, well now we get to see him. What a handsome fella. What are you whipping up this morning? Thank you. So what we're going to make uh, for the human side is um, a mousse of smoked salmon. Uh, we're going to put a little dill, shallot, and Meyer lemon zest. We're also going to serve it on a cucumber with some sprouts. Wow, yum. So where do we start? Um, so what you would do is take the, the, the smoked salmon, you know, a little bit of butter and cream, uh -huh. and you'd whisk that in the food processor until it's entirely smooth. You'd mince a bit of shallots, um, fold in the dill, a little lemon juice, lemon zest, taste it, and that's it. So it's very oh. simple, very straightforward, you know, be great for even this hour of the morning. It sounds super fresh, too. Something light, which we tend to gravitate toward in warmer months. What about the dogs as we're Absolutely. talking about these fresh ingredients? Uh, what do you have for our four-legged friends? So um, at Nature's Table, what we try and do is use high quality uh, proteins as the first ingredient. Things like farm raised mm -hmm. um, bison, beef, and salmon. And again, we're looking for um, foods from producers that we know and trust just the way you would at a farmer's market. Yeah, well, and that's true. I mean, we have a, a dog at home who's had some health issues, and we've started to look at that stuff and think, you know, how do these ingredients affect his health day to day? So protein's always something we look forward to. What do you attribute this, this movement, the farm to table thing when it comes to our dogs? What do you think's behind that? Um, I, think, I, th I think everyone is looking more carefully what they eat and ergo what, what their animals eat. Mm -hmm. So if, if you have a diet that's uh, rich in, in lean protein, uh, complex carbohydrates and a, and a lack of grains I think is key in maintaining the animal's health um, and you know, honestly the longevity. What are the benefits overall? Um, again, if, if you have uh, a, a lack of grain and complex carbohydrates, things like you know, carrots, apples, yeah. legumes, these are, are certainly much more healthy alternatives for the animal. And Nature's Table sort of put it all into uh, their, their food so you don't have to. It's a lot easier than you could make it at home every night, but why? <laughs> and I got to tell you about apples. I was getting ready to eat one and I'd set it down just for a second, turned and looked back and it was gone. And our schnauzer had wow. <laughs> grabbed it. He'd gone into another room, and I hear this <laughs> crunching sound. And he'd already eaten a quarter of that apple before I realized it. So he loves apples and, of course, all of those other ingredients. Um, is there a website where you'd send our viewers great. to learn more about the farm to table, whether it's for our pets or for people? Uh, if you go to innovapet.com, you'll find out all the information about the various um, animal feeds as well as their ingredients, and that's the most important thing. All right, we appreciate your time today, Chef. Thank you, and please give Benny a big hug for us. Will do, Mary. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. Thanks, Mike.